Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Angular 17 brought a notable improvement to the framework by introducing a feature called Control Flow. Control Flow blocks allow you to conditionally show, hide, and repeat elements. In this video, I will show you how to use Angular Control Flow in your Angular 17 project. So, let's get started. For styling, I have added Tailwind CSS CDN inside index.html file. In the app.component.ts file, add a property user role of type string and assign a value admin to this property. The if block conditionally displays its content when its condition expression is truthy. It starts with an at symbol. In the first condition, it will check if user role is admin, if this condition is true, it will display welcome admin. If the first condition is false, it will check the condition in else if block. If user role is employer, and if this condition is true, it will display welcome employer. If both the above conditions are false, then it will display the statement in the else block, welcome user. Here, the user role is admin, so it will display statement of if block, which is welcome admin. Now, if you change the user role to employer, it will display the statement of else if block, which is welcome employer. Now, if you change the user role to candidate or any other value, it will display the statement of else block, which is welcome candidate, because both the above conditions are false. Now, let's see the for block. Similar to JavaScript's for of loops, Angular 17 provides the at for block for rendering repeated elements. Here, product list is an array with a list of objects. Each object represents a product and has properties such as ID and name. The at for block renders its content for each item in a collection. Collections can be any JavaScript iterable. But there are performance advantages of using a regular array. The at4 block requires a track expression. You can optionally include an at empty section immediately after the at4 block content. The content of the at empty block displays when there are no products. In at4 block, track is now required. Angular uses the value of this expression as a unique identity for each item. This identity allows the framework to perform the minimal set of DOM operations necessary after items are added, removed, or reordered. For simple cases, you can use track $index as a reasonable default. The at4 statement uses a new diffing algorithm and has more optimal implementation compared to star ng4, which makes it up to 90% faster runtime for community framework benchmarks. You can see that the product ID and name are displayed, illustrating the result of at for loop iterating over an array of products. Now, let's see the at switch block. In the app.component.ts file, add a property shipping method of type string and assign a value standard to this property. The syntax for at switch is similar to if, inspired by the JavaScript switch statement. The at switch blocks displays content selected by one of the cases matching against the conditional expression. If the value of shipping method is equal to standard, then the code inside this block will be executed. If the value of shipping method is equal to express, then the code inside this block will be executed. If the value of shipping method is equal to next day, then the code inside this block will be executed. If none of the above cases match, the code inside this block will be executed. This block serves as the default case. Here shipping cost is displayed 5.99 because we have assigned standard to the shipping method property. If we change the value to express, then the statement in case express will be displayed. If we change the value to next day, then the statement in case next day will be displayed. If the value is changed to any other value, the statement in the default case will be displayed because none of the above cases matches. The at default block is optional and can be omitted. 
If no at case matches the expression and there is no at default block, nothing is shown. The at 4 block replaces star ng4, for iteration, and has several differences compared to its structural directive ng4, predecessor. The at switch block replaces ng switch with major benefits. 1. The at switch block does not require a container element for the condition expression or each conditional template. 2. The at switch block supports template type checking, including type narrowing within each branch. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.